Hi, Leo. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do a reading here in a moment. Just a few mentions before I get started. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Um, I will treat it as a personal reading and I look at the next three weeks energy going forward from this reading. Also below, um, how to enter my personal reading giveaway, details below. And then lastly, I have um, posted more videos to my Meditation Relax Calm channel if you'd like to check it out. So with that, Leah, let's get started. Please know this reading may not resonate with everybody out there. It's for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. Uh, roles and energies can be reversed. So I'm pulling two major arcana cards here, one for your energy and one for your person here. Okay. All right. So we have temperance in your energy. Okay. So this can be about, you know, trying to find balance in your situation, balancing your feelings, your emotions. This can also be about reconciliation, discipline, a lot of different things. We'll see how it, res it resonates with your reading. You also have here the hangman for your person's energy, okay? So your person may be feeling stuck at this time, but it also can be an energy of, um, there's different things here, releasing karma. Okay, seeing things in a different light or different perspective. So let's uh, see how these relate to your reading. We're going to start with your energy. What's the energy we have here for Leo? You know, it's interesting with the two of those, with the temperance, it's also Sagittarius energy and the hangman. I'm getting an energy, right, that there may be some timing here, right? Some divine timing. Things may be kind of at in a limbo energy right now. Let's see what we have here. We have the Six of Wands, the World card. We have the Tower. And we have the Sun card, also your energy there, Leo. And bottom of the deck, okay, interesting. Um. I feel like for some of you, you may have even, you may have actually got a message from this person recently, okay? Maybe a whole lot hasn't happened, but I feel like maybe out of the blue, you may have got a message from this person. That's for some of you. For some of you, I also feel here, this could be a situation, right, with this tower where there may have been a breakup or there may be separation between you and this person, okay? Things may be at a standstill here. Something wasn't working. Maybe the two of you uh, weren't on the same page, didn't have the same goals here. Some of you, there's actually travel distance here as well. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. But I feel like you may be very focused on your career right now, Leo, or maybe some of you are doing some traveling. I feel like no matter what the case, I feel like um, there's other people around you who are attracted to you. They love your energy. Uh, they may even look up to you um, in your current career or, or whatever you do. Um, but I feel like things are kind of in limbo here between you and someone. But some of you, I'm going to say, either you're going to get a message soon that you're not expecting from this person, or you may have recently got a message, but there really hasn't been a whole lot that has happened since then. So um, I might go back and clarify that tower energy. Actually, let's do that now. I want to see what that is about. Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here? Okay, so yeah, like I said, communication. Either you're gonna get some sort of communication or maybe you already got some communication. Yeah, page of wands, page of cups, and the six of pentacles. And look at that, the ace of cups. Okay, I get two things here, Leo. <laughs> okay, and interesting enough, the three of pentacles showed up here. Okay, three people in the energy. Some of you, oh gosh, this came up in Aries reading too. 
I pick up two energies here, uh, Leo, and that may be what is unexpected here in this reading. There may be a new person uh, that is showing up in your life, or maybe they already showed up in your life. But I also feel like you um, are getting a message here from this other person. Somebody I feel here, either the timing wasn't right or, you know, there's... Oh, wow. Okay, let's pull your person's energy, okay? Because <laughs> um, things just got a little complicated here. I was just saying here, I feel like people are attracted to your energy. Okay, your person's energy. We got the King of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles again. We have the Three of Pentacles again, and we have the Death Rebirth card. We have Scorpio energy. A lot of Pentacles here. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or Virgo, or this could be somebody maybe who uh, works a lot. Uh, we got the seven of wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like there is someone here, okay, that maybe an X where there was an ending, okay, that's that tower here is the energy that I'm seeing. We are in Mercury retrograde, so a lot of things happen during that time, but depending on when you watch this video. I feel like there is um, some someone new in your energy space, whether you've met this person, this could be somebody who's flirting with you. And I feel like you're getting, you got a, you're, you either got a message or you're getting a message uh, from somebody here from your past. Your past person, I feel, is showing up here in your reading, okay? So, interesting enough, you do have, let's see here, we have the seven of wands and the seven of cups and the moon card and the ten of wands okay i almost feel like your person this past person like has done some soul searching you know i get two sevens here for me sevens are a very spiritual number can also um you know in numerology can talk about separation can talk about being vulnerable um, you know, fear, anxiety, which we, we get that too with the moon. Um, so I feel like this is somebody who has been struggling and somebody who hasn't really been, how should I say, hasn't been listening to their intuition and someone who just really hasn't been connected, okay, on a spiritual level. So I almost feel like, you know, since you and this person has uh, you know things ended whoever this is for you i sense here they're they've kind of been on their own spiritual path and look at that the next card here is the the high priestess and we have the three of cups now some of you i feel like this person could have been in another connection or another relationship um, but I feel like this person, this person has struggled because this person has a lot of deep emotion here. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian. And I feel like this is someone I feel, um, I feel like that could be somebody, right? They value themselves by their money. They may work a lot, um, they may be somebody who is, it could be uh, rigid at times or, you know, they they just have um, regimented. That's the word I was looking for. This person may be somebody very regimented. They're very, you know, they do things a certain way. They may have a daily routine type of energy is what I'm getting here, okay? I want to clarify that three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Okay, six of cups, four of swords, seven of swords. Okay, and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, they miss you. Nine of pentacles here, right? They miss you. They may be seeing that you're doing very well for yourself. Maybe you're doing well in your career. Maybe you're taking good care of yourself. Maybe they're seeing, uh, you know, photos of you on social media. But this person, I feel here, you know... They've been secretly thinking about you, what I get with this Three of Pentacles. You've got the Six of Cups, the Four of Swords, and you also have here the Seven of Swords. So this is someone I feel who misses you. They're thinking about the past. They're thinking about the good times. I also feel like this could be somebody, um, 
you know, they don't share a whole lot, okay? And there also could be something that this person is hiding from you. Like I said, for some of you, I feel like they could have been with somebody else during the time that, you know, things have ended between the two of you. I'm going to see here why is the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles and probably the Death Rebirth card because it may be that something, they want something to change here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Page of Swords, oh, the Ten of Wands, one more, and the Six of Swords, okay, and the High Priestess. All right, they've been secretly spying on you. Like I said, either you're going to get a message from this person or this you got a message from this person and maybe you didn't really partake in the message. What I mean is some of you may have got a message and you're just like, okay, you know, and you say something back, but they probably were thinking you were going to engage more and you didn't, okay? Either that or you're going to get one soon, but this is someone I feel... They've kind of been in a stalker energy is what I get with the devil and the page of swords. They've been trying to figure out what you're doing. You got the ten of wands. So I feel like this person is really thinking about, you know, has Leo moved on from me? Um, you know, what are they doing? Are they seeing anybody? This could be somebody too who is gets jealous. But let's see why the death rebirth card is here. What does this person want to change? What does this person want to change? Okay, we got the world. Could be distance between the two of you, the page of pentacles. Oh, wow. Look at that. The four of wands. And we also have here the emperor, strong Aries energy. So Leo, the world, the page of pentacles and the four of wands. I feel like this person wants to take the steps here towards working towards a relationship, which is interesting. Well, let's see what the potential outcome of the situation. Some of you, there is actual travel distance here. Um, I feel like I, I definitely get a message here. I feel like this person is going to send some sort of message. We do have the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, look at that, and we have the Hierophant, strong Taurus energy, oh my gosh, and the Ten of Pentacles. I really feel like this person, maybe this person hasn't been serious with you in the past, like I said here, they feel like something wasn't working, uh, you know, things have definitely been in limbo. I do feel like there's been some time uh, between you and this person. I feel like even up to seven months uh, that maybe there hasn't been a whole lot of, of communication or maybe you and this person broke up uh, within the last seven months. It's different for everybody, but I feel like, and I, I just saw the Ace of Wands too, so I feel this is someone who wants to rekindle things. This is someone I feel who's never really let you go, even though, but it shows me that this person, right, they... They've kind of secretly held back how they really feel. And it does sense a sense here too that this person may have made some wrong decisions or judgments is what I'm hearing. But let's see uh, what the potential outcome is here, Leo, for you. Because I see a new energy and we may clarify that as well. So let's see here. We got the Four of Pentacles. We have the Hermit. We have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, we, are, we have Justice. So, interesting enough, with the Justice, we have Libra Energy. I feel like you want some sort of truth here, okay? Some sort of truth. Uh, maybe you have to see that this person will make things right. You have um, the Four of pentacles here you have the hermit could be dealing with a virgo eight of wands and you also have here the nine of wands so really leo what i get here i feel like this is someone um who has really you know i talked about uh 
I think we saw it earlier in the bottom of the deck. I talked about this person. I almost feel like this person has been on their own spiritual journey, right? We have transformational energy here with the death rebirth card. I sense here with the four of pentacles and the hermit, you're dealing with someone I feel who, you know, they don't really listen to their intuition. I feel like this is someone who is more uh, practical and as I said, I do feel like this could be someone that money is, is important to them, you know, what they have, so to speak. But I feel like this person has kind of been on their own um, spiritual journey, so to speak, even though I, I don't feel like they're really tapped in. But I sense that this person is really trying to find that inner guidance. Okay, but they look at it very practical in a practical way, if that makes sense. So they're trying to figure out how to come towards you, what the approach is here. Um, this person likes to feel secure. That's another energy I'm picking up. You've got the, uh, the eight of wands and the nine of wands. So I see them coming towards you. Okay, and it's very hard for them as well as the energy that I get because I feel like there may be something here that they're needing to be honest about or maybe they need to apologize or there's some sort of confession here. Okay, because I see that they seriously have been thinking about all of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pull some of these love oracles and see what the energy is here. What can you share with Leo? We're going to pull it on your side and your person's side. Okay, not enough. And heart with a key. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like you have feelings for this person. But I feel like you're at the point, Leo, that that's not enough. Okay, you, you may be feeling frustrated with the situation uh, you may be feeling, you know, you're tired of dealing with maybe your person has some ego or some fears or whatever it is or can't make a decision. I sense here that you're in a place where you've had enough from this person and now you, you know, you have love for this person. I feel like there's a very strong connection here, but you're in a point, like I said, you're going to have to decide if you're going to put your time, if it's worth it for you to put your time and energy into this person, because you may have heard it all before. And so that's where I feel like in your energy, it's like, you don't know if it's enough. Okay. Is this real person really going to take the action or show you what you need, right? Is this person on the same page? Let's see what's showing up in your person's energy. Okay, we got talking. We have the snake, interesting. I'm gonna pull one more. And I like you, <laughs> oh, interesting, okay. You do have butterfly on the bottom of the deck. So again, I see conversation here. You do have the snake, okay? Now, that can mean different things. So one, it could be, right, maybe this person doesn't have good intentions. Maybe, you know, they, they like you. They want to have that romantic energy with you. They want to date you, but are they really on the same page of what you want, okay? That's one scenario I get there. The other scenario I get here is that there could be somebody around your person who wants to be with your person, okay? That's the competition, okay? Could also be the other woman or the other man, okay? So, um, you know, like I said, it could be different for everybody. Some of you, there's, this could be a third-party situation you're dealing with, okay? So, uh, Leo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it now to the, oh, you know what? I wanted to ask, actually, what else can you tell uh, Leo about the new energy, this new person I see coming in? Because I feel like there's somebody new. You've got the Five of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Cups, and you have the Wheel. All right, and you have the Six of Swords. Okay, so there's an opportunity to move on from this past person. 
um, I feel here. So I feel like with this Five of Pentacles that I almost get here, Leo, that if you just stay in your situation and you're just thinking about this past person and you're not really doing anything to meet other people, it's showing me here with this Five of Pentacles the only way that you are going to move towards something new in, you, in your life is leaving this other situation behind. Okay, so if you're still thinking about this other situation and you're, you know, still hoping that things will work out, which is okay, right? I don't see like this new person coming into fruition. So whether, you know, you're already, this person's flirting with you or whether, you know, they haven't even come into your life yet. Okay. But spirit is showing you that there is potential for happiness with somebody new if you move on from this past situation. Okay. And I feel like with this past situation, it's really going to be, you know, are they going to give enough? Are they going to be on the same page as you? And if they fall short here with that five of pentacles, that's where I see you're going to have the opportunity, as long as you're putting yourself out there, for new love, okay? The universe is going to get rid of whatever is not meant for you, okay? And that could be why there is timing here. Timing here to see things from a different perspective, okay? And uh, I sense here too, some of you, this could actually be a twin flame energy. So I'm going to take it to the extended Leo. We're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.